gonna show you the number one takedown in MMA history. The number one takedown in MMA history is done off of the cage. So we're gonna use this black wall as a cage. You get them against the cage. Typically I like to set it up with punches. Boom, boom, he rushes against the cage. I come down, change my level. I bring my shoulder into his belly button and my hands connect in an S grip. Boom, right under his butt cheeks, right there. Okay, if I go too low, he might split his legs open and break my grip. So I go right under his butt and then I can stop all that. Next step, so my leg is between his legs. I drive my shoulder into the wall. Okay, so I'm trying to pin him. And then all I'm gonna do is lift his legs. So if you're doing it correctly, you should be able to pin him on the wall. Now you just release him. And he goes down. This is by far the number one most successful, most commonly hit takedown, most finished takedown. I could at least get him to here. A lot of times you'll see guys sit against the wall once they're down. And then what you see is the Khabib kind of stuff where he's locking under your feet. He's bringing you down and he's got to stand handcuffing you and he's smashing you from here. It all stems from that one takedown off the wall. So one more time in real speed. S grip instead of gable grip. And the reason is because if they're bigger or your arms are short, S grip gives you more length. See, now I got to go tighter and every inch counts. So for more MMA tips, jujitsu tips, tricks, techniques, comment Academy in the comment section and I'll shoot you a link to the online academy.